Welcome to VxWorks Technical Tips series in which we share tips, tricks, and technical demos to help you get the most out of your VxWorks development tools. I'm Kakea Chikoso, and I'm going to show you how the Wind River Workbench Memory Analyzer, available with your VxWorks 7 platform, can help you resolve your memory leaks in your VxWorks applications. I'm going to take a demo application, a Fibonacci series calculator. This simple program adds the last two numbers in a series together to get the result for the next number in the series. Here is Wind River Workbench. I already have a VxWorks image project created and I'm booting the target up right now into that VxWorks image. I have a mem demo downloadable kernel module which holds my Fibonacci series calculator. So I'm going to connect Workbench to my target and then download and run the Fibonacci series calculator. So there's my Fibonacci series being calculated. Let's take a look at what it looks like in the memory analyzer. Here's the memory analyzer. The time chart is at the top and you'll see a little blue line there. The, that blue line tracks the allocated and unfreed memory and it looks like it's continuing to increase as time passes. There are these red bars, and the, that's the amount of memory allocated right at that time. And the red bar is supposed to disappear when that chunk of memory is being freed. In my application, I'm allocating memory, but I'm also expecting to free them, so these red bars are not disappearing, and the blue line is ever increasing, so that shows a serious problem. I'll use the call tree to deep dive into my memory problems. In memory analysis mode, the call tree is a setup to list the call stack where memory is not deallocated within 75% of my time window. So it shows unfreed memory from the beginning to this upper limit marker here. By expanding the call stack, I can see where my memory is leaking. There's my malloc call, and it's being called by memdemo Fibonacci example. So I'm going to double click on the node and it brings me to the line of code in question. There's a variable called result and it is holding the allocated memory. If I look down the result, I can see that my result is being reassigned before it is being freed. There's my problem. I need to free results, so I'm going to make that change here. and I will stop the application, rebuild my project, and rerun the project. My Fibonacci series is calculations have restarted, so let's take a look at what it looks like in the memory analyzer. The memory analyzer still includes the memory allocation from my last invocation of the application. My time window on the memory analyzer is too big, so I'll reduce the memory analyzer window by dragging the start line over to where my application actually started. Since I've solved my problem, I'm expecting the memory allocation to stay constant and for all the red bars to disappear. But it looks like I'm still having memory leaks. These red bars are still appearing and they're staying. So let me take a look at the call tree again. This time, I double click on the memdemo Fibonacci series ex example node and I see that there's another line of code where memory is being allocated. There's a variable called temp buffer and this temp buffer is not being freed when it goes out of context. There's my problem. So I need to go free this variable and let's go and stop my application rebuild the module and rerun the application. There's my Fibonacci series. Let's go back to my memory analyzer and I will drag the time window over so it only includes my last invocation of the module. I can see now that although it gets some memory allocated, the memory is being freed my blue line is not increasing uncontrollably. The red bars appear, but they disappear after a while, indicating that the memory is properly deallocated. 
This is how the memory analyzer helps me solve memory leak problems in my application. The memory analyzer is part of the system browser tool that contains many more features not highlighted in this demonstration. Memory analyzer focuses on memory, but you can also set up the system browser to look at I.O. or to look at interrupts or to look at semaphores or other interesting elements. It solves task synchronization problems, I.O. bandwidth problems, or CPU performance problems, or other problems that you're having. I encourage you to explore the other features in the Memory Analyzer tool yourself.